Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the latest buzz in the 3D printing world, Bamboo Labs' rumored new printer, possibly named the H1. Leaked images and specs have been making the rounds online, and we're here to break down what we might expect from this potential game changer. Let's get into it. It all started with a blurry image posted on WeChat and later shared on X on June 4th. The photo, which appears to show a new Bamboo Lab printer, quickly ignited discussions across the forums and on social media platforms. The image reveals what looks to be a new printer with properties similar to both the H2D and the A1 series printers. While Bamboo Lab hasn't confirmed anything officially, the community is buzzing with theories and expectations. Based on the leaks and discussions, here's what we might see in this new model. One, a single extruder. Unlike the H2D's dual extrusion system, this printer appears to feature a single nozzle printhead, suggesting a focus on simplified functionality and broader accessibility. Now let's take a moment to anchor on this feature. One thing that this design could mean for future users is speed. Let's take a quick look at the size of the tool heads. The H2D tool head is massive. Compare this to the size of the A1 tool head, a single smaller tool head in an H2D frame motor configuration could operate at speeds greater than what we have today in the X1 Carbon. Number two large bill volume. The Z-axis height is estimated at 340 millimeters, indicating a build volume close to that of the H2D. Bamboo Lab will likely use the same build plate as the H2D. That would make sense, a new larger standard across multiple printers. By this logic, I'm guessing that we'll see 350 by 320 by 340 millimeters. Keeping the build plate dimensions and printer internal size makes sense from a manufacturing standpoint. The extra 15 millimeters in Z height is easily gained by the smaller tool head. Three, new design elements. The extruder area includes a yellow drive shaft motion wheel similar to the one used in the A1 series and a tool head camera near the nozzle, likely for calibration. Now, I am curious about the elongated window though. What do you think the reason is behind that? Please let me know in the comments. And finally, number four, simplified features. The front plate on the printhead covers the machine readable code typically found on H2D nozzles, indicating a reduction in the number of self-monitoring cameras compared to the H2D. These features suggest that Bamboo Lab is aiming to create a more affordable large format printer to capture a more mainstream audience, which based on community response, this is what the most vocal majority seemed interested in for a new Bamboo Lab printer. The 3D printing community has had mixed reactions to the leaks. While many are excited about the potential features, some express concerns. First is the price point. Speculations place the new printer's price lower than the H2D, which could make it more accessible to hobbyists. Next is the feature set. The reduction in features compared to the H2D might be seen as a step back by some users. It's clear that while this new printer has the potential to be a significant addition to the Bamboo Lab lineup, the company will need to balance affordability with functionality to meet user expectations. And of course, we can't forget the recent firmware change. Many previous Bamboo customers are pretty unhappy about the change in the terms of use after they bought the printer. Personally, I can't upgrade the firmware on my P1S or I'll lose the functionality of my Panda Touch, which I use all the time. That's all for today's deep dive into the potential features of the Bamboo Labs rumored new printer. What do you think about these leaks? Are you excited about the possibilities or do you have reservations? Let me know in the comments below. I will post links to the articles I used as sources for this video in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in the 3D printing technology world. Thanks again for watching. As always, let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.